In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first option. As you can see here, I've created a shape which looks like a kind of a call out shape where I've added kind of a geometric shape here. You can add the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will come with a different color combination that is a call out option two, then the call out option three. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light grey color background then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color or let me just give some different color and later on i can change this to white color and then i'm going to insert one oval shape here so go to the shapes from the basic shape select the oval draw a oval shape something like this you can see here it should look like this so for this let me just go to the right mouse click format shape and i'm going to give a some transparent effect here all right and let me just zoom out and if you want you can just turn a little bit so it's not there's no hard and fast tool that you have to design the oval shape like this you can just uh, whatever way you feel better you can just design it so it should look something like this okay and then go to the insert shapes select the right triangle sorry the triangle from the basic shapes draw a triangle and then rotate it move this up and bring this down somewhat and then right mouse click edit point i'm just going to bend this one a little bit you can see here all right if you want you can just reduce the size so now this shape hold the shift key and select this shape these two shapes go to the more shapes and select union so we end up getting a shape which looks like this all right for this shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this kind of a call out shape. Then go to the merge shape and select the fragment. And I'm just going to delete it. And here, this particular, you can see here, it has become two separate things. So for this particular shape, I'm going to fill this with white color. And for this, I'm going to give a kind of uh, geometrical shapes. For that, go to fill select picture or texture fill click on the insert i'm going to choose online pictures and in the online pictures i'm going to just type kind of a geometric green shape or orange or blue okay so depending on the requirement you can just choose so it's taking some time all right so here i'm going to type geometric say uh, orange and I got so much different colors. If you want, you can untick this one, Creative Commons only, and then whichever color which you feel better, you can choose it. For example, I'm going to choose this one, click Insert. And this particular image has been inserted here. You can see here. And if you like to give some kind of a shadow effect also for this, I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to give this as a solid color. And solid color I'm going to give as a black and increase the transparency all right maybe 70 75 percent and then right mouse click edit point i'm just going to make it something like this okay then bring this one here exactly on top of this and send this to back okay so we have got some shadow effect also created like this okay if you want we can make it more darker also if it is more light depending on the requirement so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert like here i'm going to insert the title and the detailed text so go to the insert text box i'm going to add the title here all right sorry make it bold increase the size to 20 and if you want to change the color you can just change the color according to the color what we have chosen here go to insert text box and 
e equals l o r e m within bracket one it will give me some text so i'm going to delete the long text and make it shorter then justify if you want you can reduce the size to 14 and i'm going to give some dark gray color all right you can just put it here and then go to the insert click on the icons here i'm going to use kind of a quotation marks uh, to show that it's a kind of a quote or something like that okay so i can just say so i'm going to just choose this one click insert and i'm just going to place this one here one press ctrl d to duplicate move it to the down and you can rotate it you can see here i can just flip vertical and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal and you can just place this one here if you want you can change the color to white as well so depending on the requirement so once this is done select all the shapes press ctrl g to group it move it here hold the ctrl shift key so and this is the second one and this is the third one so if it is not fitting within this uh, slide size then you can reduce the size also okay so then it's very easy for me i can just go and give some different uh, image here so i'm going to the online pictures and here i'm going to type geometric uh, maybe green so let me just type geometric green and i can just choose any green color from this or untick this one and whichever color which source your requirement you can just choose maybe i'm going to choose uh, this click insert so you can see here the image got changed likewise you can just change the image here as well as the color also you can just change to some dark green color here okay so once this is done what you can do is select all those things press ctrl shift g to ungroup this one now i'm going to group this 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 and this text and even this also the small and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here this is the group now all right so now what i'm going to do is i can just do the animation so here also let me just group this one if you want you can group this with separately also it's up to you press ctrl g you can see here like this also you can group it so let me just group this one and here in this one i'm going to group this two including the shadow also okay include the shadow as well here so in this case also i have to include the shadow this and this press ctrl g and here also ctrl g all right so now i'm going to select this and this go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select fly in fly in this one should come from top all right and this should come from bottom all right so this one should happen at the same time if i play it comes something like this so now i'm going to make it more faster so select all the animations right mouse click click on effect options timing i can make it 0 0.3 which is very fast all right and the effect i'm going to increase some bounds and here click ok so if i play it comes something like this you can see it's very fast but again if you want to reduce the speed again right mouse click effect options and timings instead of 0 0.3 seconds you can make it 0 0.5 seconds click ok and it will be somewhat slower so now i can just copy this animation using the animation painter and then this one also here so now let me just select this and this as well so if I play now, so this is my first option comes, the second option, the third option.